I don't think a single one of us can actually imagine how famous this faker guy truly is. What's up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more eSports talk. Just a crazy story in the last couple of days that I thought needed to be touched on by a guy we've already touched on quite a few times here on the show for just some immaculate things when it comes time for the crossover of traditional entertainment and celebrities when it comes to eSports and gaming. Faker, when it comes to Korea, is an icon. He is a celebrity. He is above the, you know, the natural status that I think a lot of gamers and eSports Sports personalities achieve anywhere else in the world he's just on that pedestal of a brand new level that being this past couple of days yes he now has his own officially branded ice cream with several different flavors you imagine going to your freezer over there and uh, you know just dipping your hand in all of a sudden you pull out an ice cream pop with your face on it that's the level of fame. The only comparison, if you guys watch the show when I try and touch on these weird stories, I try and make some weird comparisons. When I first started covering Counter-Strike, I actually covered Olaf Meister who had a sponsor with a yogurt company. Even then, that was very cool, very out of the norm, I would say, for a lot of esports personalities, especially at that time. Olaf Meister was, you know, a, a pretty substantial and still is a very substantial figure out there. And even that yogurt, spo yogurt sponsorship was not personally branded. It did not have his face on it. That's next level. That's stuff that we just... We don't really see, right? Ninja has his own underwear, I'll give him that as well, and he definitely dominates to some form or fashion that clothing industry with his shoe line, his clothing line, and of course, boxer briefs being in the headband. Yes, Ninja is up there as well. When it comes time for esports figures though, who just reach a status that is unnatural, it's certainly a guy like Faker, right? A $10 million check, apparently from Tencent Games, to play in China? Nah, I'm good. A blank check to play in America? Nah, I'm good. I'll stay right here, I'll represent T1, grab some ownership of that, and now have my own branded ice cream. What an amazing figure out there, and one that I continue to love to cover as well. What do you guys think about this? Uh, yeah, give me a comment down below. Top esports and gaming personalities that have done things of this nature, and I gave you guys my top three. Faker, Ninja's up there, Olaf Meister Yogurt. What do you guys think? Until next time, take care, drink your Wawa, drink your coffee. Okay, bye.